Tonight in Manchester, Mad Friday kicks off the last weekend before Christmas. Works parties and big nights out, surely that's a reason to be merry. Mad Friday, Mad Friday, well, um, it's like New Year's, but bigger and better. There's two extremes, you know when someone gets too drunk, you can either get, go one way or the other, you can be too happy, you can get angry. So it works both ways, you get a mix of happy people and angry people. And the angry people usually hate the happy people. They'll tend to start fights with happy people. I think this Friday is just, judging by the booking, is going to be pretty mental. Obviously, it's not a nightclub, but we're here to have fun still. But we'll probably get a few up on the sofas. We'll turn the music up a bit more than usual. See how it goes, really. The Northern Quarter is one of the most popular destinations for excited revellers, with many bars and restaurants to choose from. Some students may have gone home for Christmas, but venues such as 42s are still expecting to be full to the brim with young clubbers. Dependent on age group, um, obviously people behave differently. Some people use it as a platform um, for bad behaviour. Other people just enjoy the time of year um, before having time off with, you know, with the families for Christmas and things like that. This is probably the quietest you've seen Dean's Gate Locks, but come Friday it'll be the busiest place in town with an expectation of over 4,000 people. Right, don't forget Mad Friday is coming up. It's going to be immense on the locks, loads of sexy boys and girls is going off, this is the place to be. Well, our, our company will, will sit down before the Christmas period and run through things, how best to handle things and just, just to, to know what to expect during the Christmas period. So just to be a little bit more lenient with the customers and help them out a little bit more. So like if we've got a Christmas booking and they booked it out, they think that normal rules don't apply to them. If they're drunk, they think they should still be allowed to stay in and all sorts of then. Obviously, when you take them out, you've got a hell of a lot of problems on the door with arguments. So anyone heading out tonight, prepare for the endless queues. Sister Stevenson, Keys TV News.